first thing we're going to do is see if we can make a bubble flare with this um, because if we can that's really going to open up our options on where we can mount this proportioning valve instead of using this chamfered side what i found is actually use this non-chamfered side that's going to allow you to be able to do the bubble flare first step get this sticking out about the thickness of the first layer of this flaring tool. Still looking good. Now make sure when you're spinning this, you're trying to put equal force on both sides, on this side and this side. It'll help keep your flare symmetrical or not lean off to one side. That's going to be it. So that gives a nice 90 degree on the back side, which is what you're looking for. It doesn't have as big of a diameter as this does, so we might have to pull it out further next time we do it. Look at that one. See how it compares to the other flare. Definitely a lot better diameter on that. Wow, look at that. Yeah, either way, I think we just proved that you can make a bubble flare using a regular inverter flare fitting tool. Sweet. If you enjoyed this episode, you're going to want to check out next week's episode where we connect our new brake system with the existing brake system on this 48 Dodge Green Truck Cab Swap. And if you want to check out more of the videos that we've done in this project, you can check out the playlist in the upper left. We'll catch you next time on the Roy Garage.